Hey guys, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Vernell. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for in thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Um, I am gonna be showing you guys this makeup look. This is the driver's license passport makeup look. It's a simple look, but very effective. Um, I really like it, it's super natural, super just flawless but still very clean so i really really like it and i need to do a new passport picture so i figured i'll share the guy the look that i'm going to be doing with you guys um maybe i'll show you my passport picture at the end of the video if i get it done in time um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video all the products that i use will be listed down in the description box as usual um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys next time bye guys okay guys hey so i've already primed my skin with my milk hydrogen primer i did that off camera i also started my brows off camera as well so first i'm gonna go in with my contour stick and i just applied that to the hollows of my cheeks my temples you know down by like your jawline and then i went in with some concealer to highlight underneath my eyes um chin nose and forehead <laughs> and i'm just gonna go out and blend it out with my beauty blender and my contour with a brush i'm kind of doing like the under foundation contour highlight thing i've been doing that a lot lately just in general but specifically for this makeup look i feel like it just um gives a nice natural look so everything's not super harsh when you're taking like a picture especially for my passport picture i just want it to look like a almost like a no makeup makeup look but also look like i like made an effort to look good for my picture so just a little bit of both um and i just go in and i don't apply like heavy highlight concealer i just apply a little bit just to brighten up to color some cover up some of that darkness um, make me look awake you know make it look like i tried this is pretty much this makeup look i want to look like i tried but not try too hard um, next I'm gonna go on with some color corrector above my lip and I go on with a little bit not under my eye all the way but just kind of like where that little V kind of hits like almost where the, like the little dip is I put some there just to kind of brighten that up I do tend to get dark around there sometimes um, and then you honestly don't ever realize it until you like take a picture and then you're like oh shoot my eyes are like dark so I just do this kind of like preventative um, next I'm gonna go in with some cream blush and I kind of do like I don't know I saw this on TikTok one day and I try, I, I try I'm gonna try it and I actually liked how it turned out <laughs> had I been a little bit more precise with the blush but it kind of you kind of like bring it over your nose and all that kind of stuff so I liked it it looked nice underneath my foundation so I'll take it Next, I'm going to go on with a full coverage foundation. I am going to do a full coverage foundation. You can do medium if you want. I feel like this one, since I used a brush, it kind of gave more of like a medium to full coverage. But I did want my face to, like, I didn't want any, nothing really peeking through. Or not many, many blemishes peeking through. So, I did go in and I do a lot of blending. I blend it out. Like, I spent a good minute blending you want everything to be blended you want everything to be seamless you want everything just to look effortless but it required a lot of effort okay so that's what i'm doing i'm just blending it out and then i'm just taking a little bit more of my foundation and just applying it around my mouth um again i told you i don't want any darkness peeking through so i just applied around my mouth which tends to be just slightly darker than the rest of my face and i'm just using a um to do that next I'm gonna go in and set my under eye concealer this is kind of the powder puff that I was talking about in my last video when I said I like these um, it's just that my fingers get a little dirty when I use this one but I still like using these now to set underneath my eyes I used to do this way back in the day but it's just become a new favorite of mine I'm gonna go and highlight with a nice kind of yellow powder all the products that I use will be listed down in the description box if you are interested um, but you can kind of use whatever you guys have on hand um, and I'm just going in and just 
setting it in like the areas your nose forehead chin kind of like those high points of my face and then I'm just going in and um, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the bronzer um, on my eyelids just to kind of you know get rid of any discoloration just make it one even finish it's not like my skin tone it's kind of like a red version of my skin tone the shade is from one of my bronzer palettes and I'm just going in with that shade and just kind of packing it on I'm not being very precise but I'm just packing it on and then I go in with kind of like more of a blending brush just to blend out the edges I put a little bit more product on the brush and blend it out just so that it looks nice and seamless and you know uniform Next, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is like my bronzer contour that I like doing, and just going around <clears throat> my temples, um, my jawline, all those pretty much areas that I contoured. And I'm just going to go in and blend out that setting powder that I used underneath my eyes. I did use kind of like a powder that was my skin complexion to brush this away just to make it not as bright I do want it toned down I don't want it to look like a night out this is like daytime this is like photo professional photo ready you know driver's license IDs you know like not doing too much next I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade just to blend out under my brows and then I'm gonna line my waterline. I always line my waterline. I don't care what look I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a black one. I, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna do a black liner. Um, I know a lot of people, you can do brown for this as well if you want something a little bit more subtle, but I just like black eyeliner. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with some eyeliner. And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that shade that I used under, on my lid as well underneath, just to bring the look all together. After that, I'm gonna go in and apply my two to three coats of mascara on my lower lashes and on my upper lashes as well. Next, I'm going in to set my entire face with my pressed powder, just so everything is nice and neat. Next, I'm gonna go in with some blush and apply it to my cheeks, just a little bit, cause it is still peeking through, but I, you know, I want this to look, you know, very intentional, but you know, I still had things to do that day. Next, I'm going with my inner tear duct highlight. I did not overdo it. Usually, I would like pack on my inner tear duct highlight. So, um, I'm just gonna go in and apply that on my nose and in my inner corner and on my cheek as well. Y'all see the highlight? Do y'all see the highlight? We're gonna have to slow that down for y'all, so y'all can really like, like, look at that. So pretty. I don't even usually do this, but for my ID picture, I was like, Renell, pull out, stops, okay? So I'm just gonna go in and put a little bit more bronzer, and then I'm gonna set my face with some setting spray, and then I'm gonna blend out with a sponge, and that's it for the look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one thank you so much if you like please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thumbs it up bye guys